Hi, my name is Mason. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Exchange account with your iCal so that you can view your calendars. This is assuming that you have not already set it up in address book and mail and told it to set up iCal. Um, this is starting from scratch to set up iCal with your exchange information. Uh, if you've already set it up your other programs and you told it to set up iCal, then you don't need to do this video. If you haven't though, go ahead and click on iCal on your dock. We're going to go to iCal in the top left corner down to preferences. And we're going to click on your accounts tab along the top. In the bottom left corner, click on the plus button to add a new account. And here we're going to enter in your exchange account information. Change your account type to exchange 2007. Enter in your full name here. This is your first and last name and then enter in your email address and password. With all that in entered, go ahead and click the Create button in the bottom right corner. If it brings up any messages like this, just go ahead and press Continue, Connect, whatever. should bring you to the next page to enter your specific account settings further. This uh, top entry for description is optional. Uh, this is just for your sake, so you type in whatever description you want. It could be exchange, or my work account, or your email address, or whatever. This is just so you can identify this account. So I'm going to enter in exchange. Your username, however, does have to be specific. This is your email address. So enter in your full and complete email address, as well as your password for that should already be entered here. The server address also needs to be very specific. It needs to be exactly what you see on my screen namely red001.mail.microsoftonline.com Again, your server address should be red001.mail.microsoftonline.com uh, If you want to set up mail and or address book, you can check or uncheck these boxes depending on whether they've already been set up or not. Um, I'm going to uncheck them. Address book has already been set up, so that's just going to stay on. With those settings complete, click Create in the bottom right corner. That could take up to a couple of minutes, but once it's finished, you should see your new exchange account listed over here in your Accounts column on the left side, and then the information for that account listed to the right of it. First, go ahead and uh, change Refresh Calendars so that it says Every Minute. This will ensure that you have the most up-to-date information uh, from the Exchange account. Then go to Server Settings tab at the top, and you want to copy your internal server into your external server so that those are the same, as well as your server paths should be the same. And you want to make sure that Use SSL is checked on in both places. Your settings here under Server Settings should be exactly the same as what you see on my screen right now. With those changed, your account should be all set up, so you can close your preferences window, um, and it's going to update your calendar. You'll see your exchange calendars and tasks appear on the left side, as well as any uh, calendar events that you've put in will start to populate in your calendar. Again, this could take um, up to you know a few minutes to bring in all of your calendar events, so if it doesn't show up right away, don't be concerned. So you can see here that my uh, account has started to been populated with this uh, event that I've already put in right here, um, which indicates to me that iCal is successfully set up with my Exchange account. That's it. You're all set up. Thank you.